was once invited when I was a kid to Seymour Gutkin's birthday party. Can I tell you the story? Seymour Gutkin. Yes, and I love birthday parties because my mother used to make me wear my cousin's hand-me-downs all the time, and she was not my size. You know, it was really humiliating for me. So I wouldn't lose them. My mother used to pin my mittens to my sleeves all the time, you know? That day I had on a short sleeve shirt. And I look like this. I'm pinned into it, you know, just strangling. And I was, without question, the most adorable kid when I was... You know, I used to identify with Superman. And I, I thought Superman and I had many traits in common when I was... Because he used to go into phone booths all the time and remove his clothing, you know? And I couldn't stop myself, you know? And, I took my parents' best tablecloth, their Hotel Dixie tablecloth, you know? And they honeymooned at the Hotel Dixie. I didn't know that. The last night there, my father stole the tablecloth, so it shouldn't be a total loss, you know? <laughs> this is true. I believe you. I, I tied it around my neck, and I draped it behind me, and I looked very menacing, really super manish, you know? And I tuck it underneath my little shirt, and I go out on the BMT subway in Brooklyn to the Gutkin Affair. And I'm coming into the Avenue J station. And I look out on the platform and I see Hermina Jaffe being molested. Five years old, but a swinger. You know? <laughs> Hermina was Yeah, because she had an overbite. And that's... Uh, she had the biggest overbite in Brooklyn. Well, at that age, that's... She used to eat a piece of toast and finish the outer edge first on it. And the door's open, and I leap out on the platform, and I pull out my cape behind me, you know, and she's being attacked by Guy de Maupassant Rabinowitz, one of the worst kids in the world. In the early 1940s, in the Roosevelt Dewey election, his parents voted for Hitler. And I said to him, I said to him, take your hands off, uh, Guy de. And he said to me, knock off, four eyes. They always told me, knock 